नमस्ते माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मिसेस प्रीति सुनील जोशी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन ऑफ लेजर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ लेजर एंड हाउ द लेजिंग एक्शन टेक्स प्लेस लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू स्टेट डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ लेजर and necessity of the same also students will be able to state lasing action in detail these are the contents of this session so students in the previous sessions we have seen that for generation of laser it requires amplification of light this amplification of light can be achieved through stimulated emissions and to occur stimulated emission exclusively it requires population inversion and metastable state so let us now see in detail about the different components of laser and their function hence the essential components of laser are an active medium a pumping agent and an optical resonator as shown in the figure here now dear students we will see these components and their functions or necessity in detail one of the essential component of laser is active medium active medium is the material in which the laser action takes place the most important requirement for the laser medium is that we should be able to obtain population inversion in it medium consists of atoms however all types of atoms are not suitable for laser operation even in a medium consisting of different species of atoms only a small fraction of atoms of a particular type have energy level system suitable for achieving emission and that causes the amplification of light those atoms which cause laser action are called active centers the rest of the medium acts as host and supports the active centers so the medium hosting the active centers is called active medium the definition of active medium can also be stated as a medium which when excited reaches the state of population inversion and promotes stimulated emissions leading to the light amplification students are you getting this definition we will read it once again it is a medium in which when excited it reaches the state of population inversion and it promotes the stimulated emissions and these emissions lead to the light amplification the next essential component is pump for achieving and maintaining the condition of population inversion we have to raise continuously the atoms in the lower energy level to the upper energy level so for this it requires energy to be supplied to the system so pumping is the process of supplying energy we can define pump as an external source that supplies energy needed to transfer the laser medium into the state of population inversion there are a number of techniques for pumping optical pumping electrical discharge and direct conversion are some of the methods in optical pumping a light source such as a flash discharge tube is used this method is adopted in solid state lasers in electrical discharge method the electrical field causes ionization of the medium and raises it to the excited state and in semiconductor diode lasers a direct conversion of electrical energy into light energy takes place students now the next important component is optical resonator laser is a light source and it is similar to an electronic oscillator students please pause the video 
and try to recall the function of oscillator. Yes, an electronic oscillator is an amplifier supplied with a positive feedback. A part of output of the amplifier is taken and fed back at its input. The input gets amplified and output is again fed back to the input and amplified. In this similar way, in laser, the active medium is the amplifier which is converted into an oscillator through the feedback mechanism of optical resonator. Thus, a pair of optically plane parallel mirrors enclosing the laser medium in between them is known as an optical resonant cavity. One of the mirrors is partially reflecting and the other is made fully reflecting. Let us now see the role of optical resonator in detail. The photons emitted along the optic axis of the resonant cavity travel through the medium and trigger stimulated emissions. They are reflected by the end mirror and reverse their path. The photons are thus fed back into the medium and travel toward the opposite end mirror which causes more stimulated emissions. The photons are once more reflected at the mirror and travel toward the opposite mirror. Thus, substantial light amplification takes place because the light beam is reflected several times at the mirrors and it gains strength in each passage. Ultimately, when the amplification balances the losses in the cavity, the laser beam emerges out from the front end mirror. In the absence of resonator cavity, there would be no amplification of light. So, in this way, the primary function of the optical resonator is to provide positive feedback of photons into the medium so that stimulated emission is sustained and the laser acts as a generator of light. The optical resonator selects the direction in which the light is to be amplified the direction being the optical axis of the pair of mirrors. Thus, optical cavity makes the laser beam directional. Then next is in order to make the stimulated emission dominate the spontaneous emission, a high radiation density is required to be present in the active medium. So, the optical cavity builds up the photon density to a very high value through repeated reflections of photons and confines them within the medium. Also, the optical cavity selects and amplifies only certain frequencies causing the laser output to be highly monochromatic. So students, after satisfying all these requirements for amplification of light, let us now see resulting laser action. So step 1 is pumping. The atoms that is uh, the active centers in the medium are in the ground state initially as shown in the figure here. By supplying energy from an external source, the atoms are excited from the ground level to an excited level. Then uh, we know that the lifetime of the atoms as the excited atoms is extremely small. Uh, therefore, the atoms drop spontaneously from the excited state to the metastable state. As the number of atoms at the metastable state exceeds that of the ground state, the medium goes into the state of population inversion. So, here in the diagram, we can see the state of population inversion. Next, what happens is, some of the excited atoms at the metastable state may emit photons spontaneously in various directions as shown in the figure here. Each spontaneous photon can trigger many stimulated transitions along the direction of its propagation. 
as the initial spontaneous photons are moving in different directions the photons stimulated by them also travel in different directions many of such photons leave the medium without reinforcing their strength the photons emitted in a direction other than the axial direction will pass through the sides of the medium and are lost forever afterwards amplification takes place a majority of photons traveling along the axis cause stimulated emission and on reaching the end mirror they are reflected back into the medium on their way to opposite mirrors stimulates more and more atoms and boost up the photon strength as shown in the diagram here the photons that reach the opposite mirror are reflected once again into the medium as shown in this diagram the photons travel through the medium generating more photons and more amplifications the photons are then reflected again at the mirror and travel through the medium as the photons are reflected back and forth between the mirrors stimulated emissions sharply increase and the amplification of light takes place the mirrors thus provide positive feedback of light to the medium so that the stimulated emission acts are sustained and the medium operates as an oscillator then the last step in the lasing action is oscillations on every reflection at the front end mirror light is partly transmitted through it it is a loss of energy from the resonator when the losses occurring at the mirrors within the medium together balance the gain a stable and strong laser beam will come out from the front end mirror as shown in the figure in this way first pumping then population inversion then spontaneous emission leading to stimulated emission and amplification and lastly the oscillations these are the steps involved in the lasing action students in the next section we will see the next part related with the laser thank you